My house here is painted the yellow color of fresh butter on the outside with glaringly green shutters. It stands in the full sunlight in a square which has a green garden with plane trees, oleanders, and acacias. And it is completely whitewashed inside, and the floor is made of red bricks. And over it there is the intensely blue sky. In this I can live and breathe, meditate and paint. Here I feel much better than I did in Paris. I was interrupted these days by my toiling on a new picture representing the outside of a night cafe. On the terrace, there are tiny figures of people drinking. An enormous yellow lantern sheds its light on the terrace, the house front, and the sidewalk, and even casts a certain brightness on the pavement of the streets, which takes a pinkish violet tone. The gable-topped fronts of the houses in the street, stretching away under a blue sky spangled with stars, are dark blue or violet, and there is a green tree. Here you have a night picture without any black in it, done with nothing but beautiful blue and violet and green and citron yellow color. The younger of the two ladies who are out for a walk is wearing a Scottish shawl with green and orange checks and a red parasol. The old lady has a violet shawl, nearly black, but a bunch of dahlias, some of them citron yellow, the others pink and white mixed, like an explosion of color on the somber figure. Behind them, a few cedar shrubs and emerald green cypresses. Behind the cypresses, one sees a field of pale green and red cabbages, surrounded by a border of little white flowers. The sandy path is of a raw orange color. The foliage of the two beds of scarlet geraniums is very green. Finally, the interjacent plain, there is a maidservant, dressed in blue, who is arranging a profusion of plants with white, pink, yellow, and vermilion red flowers. One night, I went for a walk by the sea along the empty shore. It was not gay, but neither was it sad. It was beautiful. The deep blue sky was flicked with clouds of a blue deeper than the fundamental blue of intense cobalt, and others of a clearer blue, like the blue whiteness of the Milky Way. On the blue depth, the stars were sparkling, greenish, yellow, white, rose, brighter, flashing more like jewels than they do even in Paris. The sea was a very deep ultramarine blue. Today, I have a new idea in my head, another canvas. This time, it's just simply my bedroom. But color is to do everything, and giving by its simplification of a grander style to things is to be suggestive here of sleep or of rest. In a work, to look at the picture ought to rest the brain, or rather, the imagination. The walls are pale violet, the ground is of red tiles, the wood of the bed and chairs is the yellow of fresh butter, the sheets and pillows greenish lemon, the coverlet scarlet, the window green, the toilet table orange, the basin blue, the doors lilac. The broad lines of the furniture again must express inviolable rest, portraits on the walls and a mirror and a towel and some clothes. You see how simple the conception is. It is painted in free, flat washes like the Japanese prints. No stifling, no hatching, nothing. Only flat colors in harmony. You will probably think the interior of the empty bedroom with a wooden bedstead and two chairs the most unbeautiful thing of all. And notwithstanding this, I have painted it twice and on a large scale. I want to achieve an effect of simplicity of the sort one finds described in Felix Holt. After being told this, you may quickly understand this picture, but it will probably remain ridiculous in the eyes of others who have not yet been warned. Doing a simple thing, white bright colors, is not at all easy, and I, for my part, think it is perhaps useful to show that it is possible to be simple by using something other than gray white, black, or brown. Here you have the justification for the study's existence. Yes, 
I return once again to this interior. I certainly wish that other artists had a taste and a longing for simplicity as I do. But the idealist will not be able to do what wants to get done in the end, as is the case with me. At present, I absolutely want to paint a starry sky. It often seems to me that night is still more richly colored than the day, having hues of the most intense violets, blues, greens. If only you pay attention to it, you will see that certain stars are citron yellow, others have a pink glow or a green blue and forget-me-not brilliance. And without my explaining, it will be clear that putting little white dots on a blue-black surface is not enough. 